to understand what rag is right uh, so we all know that llms usually hallucinate they sometimes come up with their own answers fake answers because there is no way to verify their own answers whether it is correct or not so and also llms have these limitations of their own right uh, they have the knowledge cutoff date and they don't have access to the uh, you know enterprise data custom data of uh, your company uh, and um, and uh, you know their context window size is also very limited and that's why they usually hallucinate and they can't basically uh, most of the times can't retrieve the live information and uh, this behavior of llms is known as uh, the hallucinating behavior and to mitigate this hallucinating behavior there are basically three mostly talked uh, most talked uh, options or strategies one is fine tuning the second one is prompt engineering and the third one is rag retrieval augmented generation fine tuning is where you take a base model and you train it using your own custom data so that it understands all your vocabulary and all those things but fine tuning is kind of very costly and it is it, it, it requires a lot of effort and a lot of challenges and it requires a lot of computation power prompt engineering again is nothing but the art and science of talking you know talking with your uh, llms and making sure it produces the right uh, responses and uh, basically experimenting with your prompts and nothing much right but whereas uh, rag retrieval augmented generation is considered the most recommended option or strategy to uh, mitigate the hallucinating behavior of llms in your ai applications in rag retrieval augmented generation you basically augment uh, your custom data in your ai application so that your llm doesn't wander around and uh, you know starts hallucinating so here you yourself you give the custom data uh, you attach the custom data that you want whether it's a pdf file pdf file whether there a lot of there might be a lot of custom documents uh, any number of documents so you attach these custom data of your company uh, using a vector database right so as you can see in the image there is a data initiation pipeline this is where your post custom documents go into uh, you insert your custom documents and documents get split and uh, they generate, you know, embeddings are generated using an embedding model. Uh, and then all these uh, embeddings are stored in a vector storage or a vector database like single store. So in our tutorial, we are going to use, we are going to use single store as our vector database. So this is the storage part. So when a user query comes in, for example, now you want to chat with your documents, uh, custom documents and see, instead of going through a lot of things, you want to basically directly get the answers by chatting with your documents. So that's a user query. You, you, you basically, um, there is a UI and you ask the query and then your query also gets converted into an embedding using the an embedding model and using vector search or similarity search it goes through the vector storage vector database to find the relevant chunk relevant context now you have the uh, query and the relevant context uh, and then at the end the response generation basically happens you know usually the top uh, documents chunks are retrieved from the vector database using vector search or similarity search so semantic search you can call and then the response generation basically happens at the end uh, through an LLM model. So in our uh, in our tutorial today, we are using OpenAI uh, LLM model, one of the models. So that's how basically this is this is what RAG is all about. Uh, basically, we are finding the proper uh, contextually contextually relevant response going through your own custom documents, right? Instead of otherwise the LLMs usually hallucinate, right? We are attaching your own uh, we are attaching our own custom documents here, custom data, thing like that. So this is what 